Hello everyone, this is Pam, Row City Stitcher, with another Floss 2 video. Uh, this is Floss 2 video 26. Uh, today is November 19th. Uh, my last video was a little over a month ago, October 15th, so I have a pretty good bit to show you today. Uh, thanks everyone for joining me, and uh, I'm going to show you some finishes. I have three finishes, and I worked on three other projects. And then I'll show you some of my plans for the rest of the year. And at the end, I do have a pretty good bit of haul if you want to see that. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, my first finish was uh, Pumpkin Spice. And there it is there by Frosted Pumpkin. Did this on 28 count um, earthen using my own threads. So finish that. And my second finish was this one, Oodles of Autumn by Bent Creek. And that's done on 28 count oaken. Really enjoyed that one. And I used the called for threads, the Weeks Dye Works, and Gentle Arts. And the last one I finished, finished this one just last week. And that was this one here, the Needle Worker by Little House Needleworks. And this is also, this is done on oaken. That other one, I don't know if I said oaken or earthen on that other one. The Oodles of Autumn was done on earthen. And then this is oaken by Picture This Plus. 28 count Lugana. So those were my three finishes. And then, like I said, I worked on a few projects. The first one was my Living with Charm. And, of course, you've seen this one. And I did the next two blocks. Encourage and laugh. So I'm down to the last two blocks. I'm going to see. So I'll finish this. This will be done in, in December. This will be another finish for me. I just have the two blocks left. And then I worked on Gwen by Nora, Nora Corbett, the Bewitching Pixie. And she's done on Haunted by Picture This Plus, 28 Count Lagana. And you can see that. Um, I finished some more of the back stitching. And all that's left is back stitching her body when I tried to stitch her face and the rest of her body, I had to pull it out, it didn't come out right, so then she got put in timeout, so I still need to do that and her beads, and then she'll be finished. Not sure when I'll get back to her, probably won't be back to her till next year. And the other one that I worked on was, I had started this one, I think, when I did my last video. And that was this one, Halloween Night by Sandra Casalino. And this is on 16 count Ada Tumbleweed. And there's my progress. So this was one of my mini Halloween ones. So I'm not sure when I'll get back to it. But also probably be next year. And then the other one I worked on was Joan Elliott's Indian Maiden. She's still in the Q-Snap because I've been working on her. And there's my progress on her. I did this part here, started the deer, and I'm going to finish this up in there. So I really wanted her done this year. I don't know that that'll happen. We'll see. So she still, still has some work left on her. So that's pretty much all that I worked on, like I said, I spent a lot of time on the two of the finishes. So that's my progress for the last month. So now I guess I'll tell you about my plans. Uh, December, Stitch Mania is doing Disney Dreams. Disney in December, so I was going to work on those pieces. I have um, three Disney Dreams that I've started. So 
work on Little Mermaid, which I'm not going to pull those back out because I did during the whip parade and nothing's been done with them since then. Uh, then the Sleeping Beauty. Snow White. So I think I might work like maybe three days on each one. Try to finally get some progress made on those. Uh, what I'm going to start actually today, I plan on starting this one by the sampler company. It is called uh, Plymouth Sampler. I'm going to take this out so you don't see the, the pattern. It's called Plymouth Sampler. And I plan on doing around this big piece I have of uh, 18 count cream. So I think that'll look good. That's what it calls for is a cream. So I'm going to probably start this one today for Thanksgiving. So that's those. And then I plan on just working on a lot of my Christmas pieces. Um, I'm hoping to work on, let's see if I can find her, let's see, there she is, my Joan Elliott Snow Fairy, I'm planning to work on her, I plan to work on a Joan Elliott, spend a week on a Joan Elliott every, oops, every month, oh gosh, <laughs> Which way does she go? There she is! Okay. Uh, she's on um, 16 count white silver. So, as I was saying, I plan to work on a Joan Elliott, spend a week on a Joan Elliott each month because I have so many Joan Elliott's to do. So I think she's the one I'll work on in December since she's a winter themed one. Uh, I'd like to spend at least about three to four days on this one, my holiday village. That one's been barely started. And then uh, Sunflower Snowman. This one has a, a pretty good start on it. Um, so there's that one. So I'd like to maybe spend a little time on that one. And I'd like to, to spend a good bit of time on this. I'd like to spend a whole week on this one if I have time. Candy Cane Santa. And it's got a pretty good start on it. I'd like to really like to get the page finish on that. And then um, Donut Dona Stitch Frozen. Not, not much of a start on this one because I don't really like the fabric a whole lot. But I need to work on that one also. And then as far as uh, any new starts for December, uh, I might start this one. I've had this one for a while. And that's by um, Cross Stitching Art called Joyful Times. And then I have a lot of little ornament ones that I might start. I have this one, Angels, the Tree Farm, which I really like that one, and Love, Snow Love with the Snowman, and then this one called Christmas Birdhouse. I like that one a lot. So I may start a couple of those. Or I also have a lot of the Mill Hill Santas. I might start one of those. I've got all the Celtic ones. I've got the Scotland Santa and Wales Santa and the Ireland Santa. And then I've got all of the Southwest ones. Canyon Santa, Desert Santa, and Mesa Santa. And then I have Lapland Santa. So I may start one of those also maybe. So that's kind of my plans. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'll have any more finishes besides Living with Charm because all the rest of my pieces are fairly large pieces that I still have a good bit to do. But I will have off two weeks 
you know, uh, well, I guess I have one week off in December because we don't get out till the 22nd of December. So I'll have off that whole week in January, so I'll be able to get a lot done. <laughs> New starts then, but we'll be have as much time in December. So I'm hoping maybe I can finish something else, but for sure the Living with Charm will be finished. So that's pretty much all of my plans and progress. Uh, all that I have left now to show you is my haul, which is a pretty good bit. It is a whole month's worth, though, so uh, if you're interested in seeing those, stay tuned for that. If you don't like to see haul, then I guess I'll see you next time. So, let's see, what should I start with? I guess I'll start with the picture of this plus fabric that I got and let you know what I'm going to do with it. I got Eek, a, 20, a 32 count Lugana. It's, of course, an orange and black. And, well, this is going to sound kind of weird, but I'm going to do my Evangeline on her, on that fabric. I did, uh, looked at it on the viewer, and it looked really nice, so I'm hoping that that'll look good. That will be a new start next year for sure. Not sure exactly when, but that will be a new start. And the other fabric I got was for my Plum Pudding Glendon Place. I got the, the called for fabric. And it's called Sprite. And I got it on the 28 count Lugana. It's just kind of a lilac color. And this one will be started in January because January Tour Day Designers with Stitch Mania is Glendon Place. So I'm going to start that one for that. Uh, so let's show you the rest of my fabric I got. I got my October Fabric of the Month by Fabrics by LJ. Mine's on 28 count Lugana. This is called Spooky. I really love this fabric. Don't know what I'm going to put on it, but it'll be something awesome. So. And then I got two just small pieces uh, from eBay. That was a reasonable price. This is just a little 12 by 12, 28 count Jobelin Delicate Teal. Do something small on there. And then this is just kind of a kind of a tannish color, beige color. So no plans for those, but it was a good deal when I was just on eBay looking at fabric. Okay, and then I guess the rest of it is patterns. So I got this one off of Stash on Low. This is called uh, Green Lady Green Sleeves by Custom Crafts, but I plan to convert this to purples. I think that'll be cool. So I'm going to do that one. And then I got this one, Four Seasons by Marjolaine Bastin. And I plan to start this one as soon as possible. I saw somebody had posted their start on Stitch Mania, and it just looked awesome. So I'm ready to start this. I do have some fabric I can use because I had already kitted up some other Marjolaine Bastin, so I can just pull that fabric for this one instead. So, so I may do this one because it's the four seasons, and so we must start this anytime. And then I got uh, a stash unload, a Debbie Patrick. It's called a Grand Mason. One of the houses and this one I really like this was also off a of stash and look called all through the house by leisure arts and what's cool about this is the house all the rooms are interchangeable so you can kind of make whichever house you want you can pick which top you want in which rooms that you want and see it's got them all they're all charted individually so you can pick and choose you know which living room you want which you know boys room or a girls room a room in the attic so I really like that one that's gonna be fun and then I got some kits on eBay that were like really, really reasonable. Uh, I got this Mediterranean Flavors Dimensions Kit. And Design Works, Joan Elliott called Give Thanks. That'll be good. That'll go really well with my living room with the Southwest. So I'm happy about that. And this is just too cute. This, but actually, I may, who knows, I may start this one. It's called uh, Santa Express Dimensions Kit. And it's 
already sorted. I'll probably just switch out the fabric. The fabric's a 14 count light blue Ada. Might switch that to something else. That way, that is just that's so cute. Uh, and then this this batch of stuff here I got uh, a friend of mine that was a school board member she cross stitches and she was getting rid of a whole bunch of her stuff at a garage sale so I bought all of that what she had her whole box and she had these kits and a whole bunch of hoops and just all kinds of things so I was really excited about that so um, I got this one called snow snow tuned so it's like little snowmen playing little instruments and it comes with everything. So I thought that was cute. I love this. I love the, the gingerbread house and all the bright colors. And it comes with the uh, hanger, hanger and everything. So, And then I got these Winnie the Pooh ornaments to make. I could start those too. I could I might actually start those in December. And then this is one that I did not have. I have most of hers, but I didn't have this log cabin quilts one, so I really like that one. That's a really pretty scene. So happy about that. And a, a Joan Elliott banner. Little Santa stop here. And again it comes with everything. And this is flower ornaments. And you can see it comes with everything. So that was a whole bunch of stuff that I got from my friend. And then I went to Half Price Books. So glad we have one of those here now. And found some great cross stitch there. Uh, first thing I found was this. Easy Cross Stitch Series Food by Marie Diaz. And it's a whole bunch of different food, food motifs. Can see some on the back. I can't really show you really inside because it's mostly all patterns. So you can kind of see. So you can kind of just design whatever you want to. So got all the little, little tea pots, tea cups. So anyway, so I really like that. That was cute. Uh, then I was really excited to find this. I got Joan Elliott's Oriental Odyssey. I've been wanting this one for a while. And I actually got to use my 40% off coupon on this, so I got it at a really good price. And see, I've got the fans on the back. I'm not going to do a flip through on it because uh, a lot of people have already done done so. Uh, I'm just going to show you one of the things that I really kind of liked that I wanted to do, and that's I like like that. I want to do those symbols. So really pleased to find that. And then as I was leaving, I came across this Mary Inglebright Christmas Ideas and once I started flipping through it it had a lot of cross stitch in it and so I decided I needed this to take this one too. So let me show you just a couple of the cross stitch designs that this has. That's this right here. That design. I said I was surprised that this had so much cross stitch in it because usually there's not that much. And there's some other cute little projects to do too that aren't cross stitch. They're still really cute. So, cross stitch reindeer that they made into a pillow. to go down the chimney that says believe it's done on black I love that so yeah I was real happy to get that and then I bought this one on Redway Road by Scarlet House and then I kind of went crazy with the marabilias like everyone is being scared of them going out of print so I bought a few that I was wanting 
Went ahead and got this one, the Royal Holiday Christmas Queen. And I went ahead and got Summer Queen. I already have Winter Queen. So now I have Winter and Summer. And then the Maiden of the Seasons too. I already have the first one. So no plans for starting those anytime soon, but I wanted to make sure I got those before anything happened with those. And then the last thing I got was the Ultimate Cross Stitch Christmas. And that's a Joan Elliott design on the front. That's what made me want to snatch it up. And then it's got some designs on the back. I really like this too. The Alphabet Christmas. And you can see it's got some other cool designs. That's a Emma Condren design. So anyway, I was yeah, here's the So I was real happy to, to find this. I got this uh, at Joann's. I had it at Joann's, so um, here's a bigger bigger one of the Joan Elliott design. So that's pretty much all that I have. Uh, if you want to flip through the Cross Stitch Christmas, I don't know if anyone's done that already, but let me know if you want me to, and I can always do that in my uh, next video or, or do a video just to show that if you'd like. So uh, that's pretty much all that I have today. I uh, hope um, everyone's doing well and being safe for the Thanksgiving holidays. Uh, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving and everyone get lots of rest and good stitching in. Uh, thanks to everyone for watching and subscribing. Uh, thanks to everyone. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can just leave those below for me. And I'll talk to you, I guess, around the end of December. So thanks. Bye.